Happy Pride Month, everyone. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Trash, but people call me John Murphy. Don't know why, but they do. And for today's YouTube video is going to be me telling my coming out story, you know, giving a little bit of advice, you know, what stuff. And I will also be doing my makeup as well, because as it's Pride Month, I've decided to do like that rainbow eye look, which if you saw my Q&A video, which I will put on the screen, I did actually have that makeup already done. But I decided to do it in this video as well, because, you know, Pride Month. <laughs> when I was nine or ten, one of them, I started questioning my sexuality just because obviously I had girlfriends but I was like, mm, you know, not really feeling that. Um, and I, I realised I was actually looking at boys and I was like, oh, you know, feeling that. Um, but obviously me being so young and I was in year five, I didn't know what it was or what was happening, you know. And obviously, my fa I wouldn't say my family was like homophobic to the T, but gay remarks and stuff were always made. Um, you know, I did get called Puff quite a lot, um, Jezebel, um, all that stuff. Um, worse of things that I'm not obviously gonna say. Um, so obviously I was like, mm, you know, can't really do that further down the line. But I did have this one friend who was a bit older than me, who obviously wasn't straight. I did speak to him about it, but I still didn't fully know or understand. So, you know, I did some research. Um, obviously my mental health was kind of like messing up because I was just so lost, I was so confused, I didn't know what to do or really who I was. And obviously I was having all these feelings that I just didn't understand. Obviously I had my one gay friend but it wasn't like I could talk to family or, you know, anyone about it. Um, and obviously I did have my friends, but obviously I didn't know if it would go around school or if, um, you know, any of that. Because you don't know, you can say it to someone who you 100% trust, but then it could go around and obviously I didn't ex exactly know what was like going on. So obviously I didn't want to tell people just in case it did go around. Um, but anyway, I did some, like, research and stuff, and then in year six, I came to the realisation that I was gay. We're not talking, like, the start of year six, we're talking, like, the end of year six, so it was, like, kind of, like, a year kind of thing. Um, I kind of realised I did like men, and I didn't so much like women. Um, so... Obviously I did more research because you never know, I might just, you might, you know, at that age you don't really know. Um, so, I may or may not have watched gay <laughs> Um, and as I found that out, um, I started feeling more, what would the word be? Um... I started knowing that I was probably more, I don't really know, um, let me try to think. So basically when I watched it, I kind of realized that I was, um, I wanna say more gay, but I don't really think that's the right word, but I'm gonna go with that just because I really don't know what the word is. Um, but obviously I didn't wanna like come out just in case. Um, but then the friend I was telling you about, um, when I was 12, we did some stuff, um, you know, we did, you know, what, what, what do people call it, like Satan's dance or something like that? I don't know, but yeah, we did that. Um, do I regret doing it at 12? Yes, I do. But in a way, I'm glad because I wouldn't have known. 
because at that point I knew 100% that I was gay. Um, obviously I still didn't want to come out because obviously, you know, I didn't know how my dad or anyone would react. But thanks to that, I realized more that I am gay and you know, I'm here. Um, but yeah, so going back to me watching the same thing, I had a thing, like an app on my phone that my dad put on there that I didn't know about. And it was basically to see what I was doing. And even though I cleared my browser history, cause I'm not dumb, he may have still been able to see that I watched it. Um, and this is where the uncomfortable situations and problems start happening. Because he sat me down and he was like, we saw you watching gay um, and then obviously we kind of got into an argument about that because obviously I was young. Um, and then I even spoke to my dad recently about this because our relationship deteriorated and now we're actually talking again. My stepmom, because obviously I got grounded for watching it, which I totally understand, but um, my stepmom came upstairs and said, because obviously I was 12, I was like, can, I, can I go up, like go downstairs and watch TV? Like, can I be ungrounded now? And she was like, you can be ungrounded when you admit that you're gay. So basically, I was grounded for being gay. So basically, I was forced to come out so I could be ungrounded. And I think I was grounded for like two weeks. And obviously, I was like, no, but I'm not gay. Like, I'm not gay. Like, why would I admit something that I'm not? Um... And then I think she went downstairs. And then I started thinking about it because obviously I didn't want to sit there and be like, oh yeah, I'm gay. I wanted to kind of like, cause I don't know why I was just so awkward. So I kind of like try and thought of like a scenario of like, how, like can I like make it look like I accidentally admitted it without actually physically saying I'm gay. Um, and then I kind of thought of something and then I kind of, she came, kind of came back upstairs and she was like, are you ready to admit it yet? And I was like, but the thing is, why do I want to admit that I'm gay? You know, um, like if I, like I'm gay, but like, why do I have to admit that? Like, I just don't understand the point of it. Obviously I still admitted that I was gay by saying I'm gay. But the thing is, do you know when you try and like think of something to say, but when it actually comes to saying that thing that you thought about, you mess it up and you just say, the thing that you kind of didn't want to say. It was kind of that situation. And then obviously when I said that, she obviously laughed, went downstairs, told my dad. And then obviously uh, she came back upstairs. I was like, can I be ungrounded now? Can I go watch The Elf? Because I think that was on TV. And she was like, yeah, sure. So obviously I went downstairs and watched The Elf and I was ungrounded. Um, dad still says that that wasn't the reason why I was grounded. But I feel like it's a bit funny how she came upstairs saying you can be ungrounded when you admit that you're gay, and then when I did that, I was ungrounded. But hey ho, that could have just been her, not necessarily him. Um, but yeah, so that was like the first time coming out. I wouldn't, because I wouldn't really class it as like, yeah, I 100% came out because I was kind of forced to do so. Um, but ever since that day of me admitting it, obviously they said nothing would change. And obviously me being the smart person I am, I chose not to believe them because, just because I know your, like you know your parents, you know, like when you've been around them for so long, you kind of get like a feeling of how they, you know, are going to take it. And ever since that day, everything changed. Like I was being treated differently. I was being, you know, picked on. There were a lot of more, like, a lot more, like, gay comments being aimed towards me than just in general. Um, and then, therefore, that point, my relationship with my dad and with everyone else around me started, you know, fucking up because, obviously, I was struggling with all these mental health issues from, obviously, all the stuff and how I was being treated at home. I obviously, didn't want to say it to my friends or anything. So then I started acting out. I started, you know, basically not being a rebel, but pushing the rules. Um, so yeah, 
it just, you know, it was just horrible, to be honest. Like, but me and my dad are fine now. So it might have just been like one of them things where like you kind of had to, you just probably needed time to actually, you know, think and come to that moment in time. And um, going from that thing, here's like just some advice. Like if you are not like, you know, like gay, lesbian, whatever, and you know someone who might be or something, don't force them to admit it because it could take a massive toll on their mental health, speaking from experience, because they they physically and mentally won't be ready to admit it to someone. And even if you don't say anything, they'll still be constantly sitting there saying, people are gonna find out, people are gonna find out, people are gonna find out. So just don't obviously force them. Obviously, you know, I'm sure there's like ways you could like prove obviously like you're there for them and stuff. Um, but they will obviously come out when they obviously want to. And for the gay people or lesbians, trans, whatever, don't force yourself to come out, either because someone's forcing you to, or because you're, you feel like you're in a situation where you have to. Just don't do it. Just wait until you are ready and you will know when you're ready. Otherwise you won't be physically or mentally prepared for not obviously the consequences but the outcome of coming out um but moving from that little story and that advice um we're going to do this eye and for this eye i'm going to do green in the inner blue and then purple so we should definitely start doing that i'm going to dip into the shade i kind of like this one um labyrinth I think that's how you say it. It's kind of like a dark green. Um, but anyway, moving on from that, after a while, obviously, like I said, my relationship between my dad was deteriorating. Um, don't make fun of me if I say that right word wrong. I just honestly can't speak. And I'm sorry that, like, this is, like, so, like, um, it's because I'm trying to like think of how to say it before obviously I say it just because I don't want to say something wrong or you know offend someone or you know and also it's really hard like to talk about just because for me it was kind of the, the, the my coming out story was just kind of a thing that I kind of just try and like push aside and just not think about but obviously it is a big thing that obviously the LGBTQ plus people go through because, you know. So, and as it's Pride Month, I do obviously want to, you know, share mine. Just so people who are obviously, oh my God, look at that um, sweat tash. So obviously people that are going through it and stuff can obviously look and see that everyone goes through it one way or another in the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and just so they know they're not alone and, you know, just so they have, like, possible scenarios in their head of what could go down. But the thing is, I feel like more parents are actually becoming accepting of it than what it obviously it used to be like. But obviously there's still a few here, there, everywhere. But anyway, after my dad and I relationship started deteriorating, um, he dropped me off at my mum's and I went to live with my mum, um, in Kent. Um, and it was alright, you know. Obviously I still had to, like, deal with, like, the stuff that happened with my dad, but um, I know my mum, and I know she's very accepting of the whole sitch. And after living with my mum for a bit, it was all right, you know. I do know she's obviously, like, kind of accepting on the situation, but obviously I didn't 100% know that, so I didn't really want to risk it, especially after everything I was going with my dad. And obviously, going through everything with my dad, obviously I had to live with for a while. Um, and then it kind of got... I think I lived with her for, like... 
five months. Um, and then she kind of saw messages between me and another boy. Mm, scandalous. Um, uh, seen messages between me and another boy. Um, obviously saying love you. Obviously there were red hearts and everything on there. Um, and then obviously she was like, this is a boy. There's red hearts. You're saying you love him. Who is he? Um, and then I kind of saw in her face that kind of like moment where like you've just got something like you've just understood the situation. Um, and then she was like, are you gay? And then out of nowhere, you know, I just started bursting out into tears because, you know, I didn't know how it was actually going to go down. Um, and then obviously she came up to me. I can't remember if she was crying, but she sounded very, very upset. Um, and she was like, I don't care if you're gay. You know, I'm very accepting, blah, 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 blah. Um, and obviously she hugged me. Obviously I was still crying. She was always like, don't cry. Like, you know, I kind of knew since you were like five. And I'm just sitting there in my head like, why didn't you tell me at five? I would have been so like, you know. But yeah, she was actually really, um, you know, understanding and kind of like, you know, changed my perspective on parents and trust and acceptance. Guys, my camera cut out because there was too much in my storage and I didn't have enough. But anyway, I hopefully sorted that out. So basically, as I was saying before it rudely cut out, was after m month, like a few months, coming out to mum, I decided to just rip the bandaid off and come out to everyone on my Facebook, because obviously the majority of people that I was friends with at school was on my Facebook. So the thing, I wrote it down just because I don't actually have the thing anymore, because the account I did it on was obviously deleted way back. Um, but I do remember what I said, and I said, I'm sure some of you know, but for the um, those who don't, I'm gay, in caps. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this and lose a lot of friends, but I have wanted to do this for some time now. And if you don't like it, you can leave. But for everyone who supports me, love you all so much. Red heart. And obviously throughout that thing, I did have like, you know, some like pride flag emojis. Um, and obviously at this point, I kind of just like, I was like, mm, no, not going on my phone, not doing anything. You know, because I was just so nervous about obviously what's going to happen, how, you know, people are going to sit there and hate on me. You know, I knew I was going to lose a lot of people, but I think I didn't know how many. And I was just honestly just so worried about the whole situation that I just did not want to socialise with anyone. Like, obviously people were messaging me whilst it was up, but obviously I was like, oh my God, I don't want to read the message, you know, so I kind of just didn't go on my phone, I kind of just left, left it for like a day, I think it was. Um, and then I was like, mm, I should probably see what's happening because school's tomorrow, so I need to know who's for and who's against, you know? Um, so obviously I checked it um, and I was really shocked because it had over a hundred comments and nearly had like a hundred and, I don't know, like 20 likes. Um, which was crazy, not because obviously, you know, so many people liked it, it's just the fact that, oh God, I just messed up. But purely for the fact that a lot more people was accepting of it than I would have thought. But I did notice that it was just the gays, uh, the gays, not the gays, the girls, that was this, was accepting of it more than the men. Obviously, I did lose a lot, a lot, a lot of friends. Um, but obviously, I found the ones that were true. I found the ones that were real and would stick, you know, by my side. Um, but obviously, the next day was school, and obviously, it was my first time being out. And obviously, loads of people found out because obviously, the people that saw the post obviously probably told their friends, probably told their friends. 
and it was just kind of a school thing and then I was just like the gay kid at school um, and I just it was very 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 hard and I'm not gonna lie the bullying did mess me up a lot more just because the school was so crap when it came to bullying and um, I did act out um, I was starting to be really naughty at school and then I got kicked out um, do I regret it? Yeah. Do I regret sticking up for myself and letting my mental health get to me? Yeah. <laughs> but it kind of had to be done. Um, and obviously when you're going through mental health stuff, you can't really help it. So I didn't even realise how bad I was until like I grew up and I was like, fuck, I was really bad. But yeah, and like I said before, like about, I didn't want to come out all the time and all that stuff. Here's the advice I'm giving you guys. Don't sit there and have that mentality because what I've learned is that you never stop coming out. Like you meet people, you come out, you know. There's never a time in your life, well obviously there is times where you don't actually need to come out, but as you go through life and you grow up and you get jobs and you get whatever, you do obviously have, like, come out to people. So coming out is never really ended, which is something I learned. It's still awkward, because obviously when you meet someone, you don't, you don't know how they're going to react. Unless they're gay, then obviously you know they're going to be fine. Um, but yeah, um, so don't force yourself to come out. Don't force someone to come out. Come out when you're ready. Don't push yourself. And... Remember that you never actually ever stop coming out as gay. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that it's like, it was kind of a mess. But it's just because it's really awkward and really weird talking about it. But obviously I really did want to talk about it because it's something that, you know, can help people and all that stuff. This is obviously my makeup look as well. Happy Gay Pride. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, they're both just Trashy Jordan. My sn Snapchat is Trashy Jordan with an extra M after Jordan. And my TikTok is Jordan Murphy with an extra Y. I will obviously put them around the screen so you guys can go add them up. And they will also be linked down below, you know, just because you can't bother to type it in. Um, bye. <laughs>